under the conversions, which was the fourth one of those four we started looking at, under goals, and then funnel visualization. Now, again, full disclaimer, this takes a little bit of extra work to set up, and I'm not gonna go into the geeky code of how you do that. You don't need to know that. Find a friendly web geek. You need to know that there are three pages to your shopping cart process. You tell your friendly web geek what they are, and you say set up the funnel viz report so I can see the funnel for my site. Now this is a very good e-commerce site. Very little red. Very few people dropping out of this funnel. I had a hard time finding the opposite, but you can imagine what that looks like. Luckily most of our clients have got very, very nice shopping carts. Good on them. If that red line is 50% of that top page, go fix that page. You've got 50% of people have added a product to a shopping cart, land on your shopping cart and then go Ugh, and run away, go and mystery shop it. I'm amazed at how few businesses mystery shop their own web experience. Um, I haven't got a slide for this, but there was a blog post by the god of analytics, Avinash Kaushink, who's Digital's, sorry, Google's digital evangelist. Search for a blog post he wrote on the weekend. It's called Seven Awesome Web Experiences. Words to that effect. In fact, just bookmark his blog, Occam's Razor, it's called. But the latest post on that blog, Occam's Razor, his first name's Avanash. Don't ask me to spell his last name. It's a wonderful blog post. It's about 28 pages long, and he picks apart seven websites in great detail. It's fantastic. 